We're now with Caitlin to talk about hot trends with hair. So what is hot right now? What's hot right now is you're seeing a lot of the celebrities take the plunge in cutting off all their hair. You have Jennifer Lawrence, Pamela Anderson, Jamie Presley. So I think that's going to be a huge trend coming up. Uh, when our guests come in and they sit down in their chair, they're going to see these celebrities finally taking off all their hair. So they're, they're eventually going to do the same thing. But what we're seeing as a pattern, like an introduction to that, is the heavy fringes. Um, so really, really long, um, kind of in their eyes. Um, for hair color, it's more about tone on tone coloring. It's not so much of the ombre anymore. We're kind of drifting away from that. We used to have like five people a week get, get ombre, and now we're seeing about one a week in between me and my guests, so it's pretty great. Um, so that's kind of been falling off then in popularity. Exactly. Um, if they are doing highlights, it's more, like I said, tone on tone. And they're, the guests are really sitting in our chair and leaving it up to us to do what we want on them, which is a great change for us. It's kind of fun, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I know. I, it is surprising that everyone, celebrities are cutting off all their hair because I've been trying to grow up mine forever. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, you'll see a pattern. You might be cutting off your hair soon. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. It's hard to say. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> now, when it comes to young professionals are there certain looks and styles that they are asking for that you were let's say wanting to give them when they come in yeah there's a lot of braids still happening happening I don't think braids are gonna go anywhere um, it's more of like a romantic look versus just like an, a little accessory in the hair for a braid um, people are putting all of their hair in a braid not just a little piece um, they're also putting in a lot of accessories themselves so little little chains little necklaces in their hair which is kind of neat um, the one thing I have to say for young professionals is to be comfortable and ask for something that you would normally wear on a day-to-day -day basis, but just up it a little bit. Right, because a lot of people may think that, oh, for the professional look, you need to cut a lot of your hair off or have it super short, and that yeah. is not the case. Not at all, no. <laughs> they have to be comfortable and confident. That's the main thing. And what about in regards to updos as well? So what do you suggest for styles in regards to that? A lot of the updos that are happening right now are happening in like the nape area. They used to be the high bun on top of their head, but uh, we're now seeing it in lower uh, areas of their head and still enhancing their best features, but um, it's a little bit softer and more, more romantic. And when it comes to length as well, you were seeing braids. Any other type of styles that you think would be, would be good for someone going in for a job interview? Lengthwise, yes. um, well, you can really play up any length, but it's more about natural texture right now. It's not, you know, for for a while we were doing a lot of curling iron sets and curling rods, that sort of thing. But now it's about enhancing their natural curl or their natural wave pattern. So waves more than tight curls, hey? Yeah, I would definitely say so. <laughs> Fair enough. Perfect. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Well, we will have more Go Calgary after this.